Oh! He got a first down, but at what price? Oh, aye, good lord. Oh, did you see that? I got bones, I got bones, I got bones, I got bones, I got Just pretend we have a mirror representation. It was his left ankle that went out. This is his right ankle. What did he break? What did he dislocate? Open injury. Open injury means it popped out of the skin. That means skin, bone, sticking out. Bad injury. We've talked about open injuries before. Read up on the other videos. Here, this is all about his injury. Okay. What happened in that play? He's going down. He plants, gets mangled, twists his ankle, boom, it's sticking out under the sock, but you can see it's crooked. You saw the players walk off going, oh. Okay, we got our ankle. Okay, right ankle. Just remember, it was his left ankle that we were talking about, but this is for the model. This is a right ankle. All right, here we go. Tibia. Medial malleolus. On the medial malleolus, you have the entire deltoid ligaments, a lot of capsule all around. You have various ligamentous structures all around here. Holds the ankle in place as well as a talus. This is the box for the ankle joint, the ankle mortis, bordered laterally by the fibula. Ligaments along here and a bone that stretches all the way up. Same with the tibia. So what did he have? He had an ankle fracture dislocation that was open. So what does that mean? He basically, now again, left ankle, but he went down, snapped this bone, and dislocated. Okay, so what you saw was this bone just prominent under the sock. Okay, now on the left side, right? This is the right ankle model, but it was on his left side. And that's because this dislocated. So that means this was prominent and this was prominent. It probably ruptured the skin. You don't see the skin. That would have been gross, but it was under his sock. Okay. But according to reports, open, fracture, dislocation. So he broke his fibula, dislocated. <laughs> that was brutal. So ankle fracture, dislocation, pretty straightforward. Okay. Fix the bone. Boom. We're done. Fracture simple. Fracture is simple. You plate it, you open it, you fix it. But he also had a dislocation. Okay, dislocation, that means cartilage injury, contusion, maybe some shearing of the cartilage, because you do that, just imagine, like just to do that, look at all the grinding I'm doing. Do you see that dust? That's just saw bones. Now imagine that on your cartilage. So you're taking a big guy, fracture dislocation, and so you're shearing, you're contusing, you're bruising the cartilage. You could have cartilage injury that may be unrecognized. Maybe it was recognized. Maybe he had a cartilage injury associated with that. Maybe he's gonna go undergo stem cell, PRP at some point, I don't know. But he had a bad injury, okay? So that means you've got the bone fracture, simple. Dislocation, not so simple. You put it back, fine, but you could have short-term, long-term, late-stage results from that contused cartilage. So that's a lot of issues that he has to recover from. Hopefully he didn't have a bad cartilage injury and he'll come back, but open injury. What does that mean? Like I said, broke through the skin, pop, it comes out. Exposure to the open air, even under a sweaty, gross, game-played sock, means bacteria. So that means they gotta wash it out, clean it out. Now you're talking about normal joint fluid splashing out, getting dirtied and exposed by all this other crap, and then you gotta wash it out. What do we use to wash it out? Saline, okay, that's high, normal saline. So that means you take saline that's not too aggressive, you wash out the joint. Well, okay, but it's not joint fluid. It's not the best thing in the world to wash out a joint fluid, joint with, but that's what we have. That's the best thing that we currently have to wash out the fluid and you gotta wash it out well. You put antibiotics and then you give them antibiotics and then you clean it out and then you put it back. So the fracture dislocation is now back. But wait a minute, you fix the bone what about all the ligaments and capsules? So you have to repair all that. Now, 
Traditionally, for a fracture dislocation, you may just fix the fibula, let it heal up, and then if there's an instability, to deal with the deltoid. But maybe, given his stature as an NFL player, wide receiver for the Cowboys, he probably got the ligaments repaired as well. I don't know that. All the details about his surgery aren't out. However, his entire deltoid ligament, if he dislocated the way it, I suppose that it did, then more than likely he had the ligaments repaired. So you got ligament repair, open injury, dislocation, and a fracture. That's a tough injury to recover from, but he, I'm sure he'll come back. He's a strong player. Let's see what happens. I got some.